Thanks for joining us. I'm Paula Eben with a WBZ News Update. Top stories today. Coach Bill Belichick gave an update on the ankle injury Mac Jones suffered this past Sunday. And based on his comments, Mac has not been ruled out of this week's game at Green Bay. The coach just re kept repeating they're taking the injury day by day. The coach did say if Mac can't play Sunday, Brian Hoyer will start in his place. A woman was hit by a light pole while walking across the Moakley Bridge. Sources tell our I team she suffered head and leg injuries. Pictures of the pole show the base appeared to be rotted out. Overnight, public works crews inspected all the remaining street poles, evaluating each for safety. This was in the, the seaport. A virtual meeting will be held tonight for North End residents to talk about a proposal to bring a pot shop to Hanover Street. Bay State Herbal Solutions hopes to open up in a vacant storefront in the neighborhood. The location is about two blocks from the Elliott School. The company has submitted a plan to the city, but residents and local business owners are split. Tonight's virtual meeting begins at 6 o'clock. Let's get a check of our forecast now. A lot going on with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. Jacob? Paula, we're going to start with Hurricane Ian. The latest is the eye wall about to make landfall near Captiva Island, uh, right there near Fort Myers. Naples taking it on the chin when it comes to our storm surge. This is a major category four storm. We're talking wind 155 miles per hour and notice that pace at which it's moving only nine miles per hour. So it is not chugging along. It is crawling along. And so Naples and Fort Myers, uh, is, they really are getting battered at the moment. This is expected to make landfall near Charlotte County over the next hour or few and then eventually move inland as we go into uh, the evening and into the overnight. This is going to be a major hurricane that's going to wreak havoc on southwest Florida and eventually move up into the mid-Atlantic. For us, high pressure is going to try to squash it to our south. We could see some clouds. We could see maybe a few raindrops over the weekend, courtesy of Ian, but nothing like what they are dealing with, certainly in Florida. We do have partly cloudy skies at the moment. Pretty comfortable day overall. We do have some fair weather clouds building in. This is a little boundary of some cool air that will spill in for tonight and through the next couple of days. And we could squeeze out a couple of raindrops, but I think most of us will just wake up with some filtered sunshine for your Thursday. A few more clouds as we go into Friday with partly to mostly cloudy skies in the forecast. So your next 12 hours take you into the upper 60s and low 70s. We're back to clearing skies overnight and 50s and 40s as you wake up and head out the door. Tomorrow, filtered sunshine mid 60s. And then by the time we get into the seven day forecast, I think Saturday is a pretty nice day overall. Chance of a sprinkle Saturday into Sunday. And again, that would be courtesy of Ian. Better chance for rain in the seven day forecast arrives next Tuesday. Paula. Jacob, thanks. I'm Paula Evan. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a good day.